Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media One. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC. So what have I got for you today? Well, I've got you for you today the Christmas special, Doctor Who Christmas special of the church on Ruby Road. Now the reason why I'm doing this, I've done all the other specials, but I didn't do this one because I didn't I wasn't here. So now I've got it. This is what Jem bought me. Uh, so I could complete the uh, specials with, with, with Naguk Nagatwa and, and Millie Gibson. So, this is his new companion. This is the Church on Ruby Road. I like how it began. Um, it, it does begin where he tells the story. You know, the story's being told where, where Ruby is, is, is laid in the snow and abandoned at the church and the church take it and then it goes from there it also now it and then it goes from there where he arrives on that particular day where she's abandoned and he turns around and sees what we all think is a mother so is it or ain't it and then it goes back it flashes back and that and things like that and then you see him in the disco looking around he, he knows there's going to be trouble i mean it does start right from the beginning it it, it, it does start with with davina mccall asking ruby all about her life and things like that and yeah things start going wrong when she's talking to him yeah as we all know you now the goblins cause accidents and things like that and then it goes on from there where she's in a disco and the doctor's there. This is where the first meet. This is, you know, the doctor's in the disco looking around. He notices he's dancing and things like that. And she knocks over a drink and he catches it and tells her, do you always have accidents? She says, lately, yes. And it, you know, there onwards. And then you, you get the next scene where she's leaving into a taxi with her mates and that. And driving off and then the chocolate lights go red then the snowman this is the disney influence with frozen the snowman starts to come forward and collapse he makes the doctor gets outside sees the taxi turns the light green so the taxi can go and head falls off and hits him and he gets out a policeman says oh are you okay he says yeah can I have your name the doctor that's where i live shows him the taxi and he points to the police box that's where I live and if you don't mind I like to get and then he follows and then the doctor Gutney Netwa Gatwa says or, or she'll say yes to him and all that he, he explains it and that's where it yeah you know, and then he disappears obviously and then next thing you know it's it's there is the is the police star it's, it's on the pavement and things like that um yeah, it, it, it's, it, it, it's on the pavement. You've got Anita Dobson complaining about it. You know, oh, she's playing Mrs. Flood and things like that. And then you see Ruby saying hello and all that. And, oh, what's going Oh, it's a 1960s police box. I don't want to see it now either. So she knows it's a police box. And it goes on from there where... where where Ruby Sunday, you know, gets a shop and takes it up and it all falls out. Things start happening, you know, accidents start to happen so it can embed itself. She goes into the flat, upstairs flat and that and talks and talks to a, a, a mother who's adopted her and things like that. And then she, and then she says, oh, we're getting a baby and, you know, you know so she, they're getting another baby basically so she can foster it and that and that's what she does. And then she says, oh, I'll go out, I'll go down to Portobello Road and buy a Christmas and a birthday present in one. Uh, <clears throat> and then she says to Ruby, don't lose the baby. And that's the thing. And then next thing, things start, start happening and things like that. It all starts happening. And, <laughs> and then when she comes back, the baby's disappeared and she sees. And then so she climb, takes a step lad, climbs up and onto the roof and sees. Ooh, who are you and these goblins Isita 
And she said, you just disturbed me. And that's how it all went. And then the baby goes up and then she grabs hold of the ladder. And then as she's on the ladder, the doctor's running outside of her saying, why did you get me? So he jumps on the ladder. And that, and he says, oh, I've got intelligent gloves and yeah. All the weights in the glove and all that, yeah, gives her one of these. This is Disney's involvement with the glove. I thought it were good. I thought it embeds itself very well with that. You know, I mean, I just don't, in, in, in appreciation for it, I just hope Disney don't spoil Doctor Who. I, I really don't. They spoil everything else. I just don't hope they don't spoil this one. Um, So the Doctor's got the glove and he shows her, yeah, you know, it's like so they can get up there and they get up there up onto the goblin ship and uh, up round and there's goblins obviously and they say hello and then they get tied up obviously obviously gets tied up he's talking to Ruby um, asking her certain questions and things like that and then he gets he gets himself in and she says how you do that she says oh I spent time with you Dean you're a very hot summer <coughs> Doing that, yeah, I spent, yeah, and that, and so these, and then Ruby says the wrong word in a way, and she says, Oh, these are time traveling, then no, 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 they're just bumbling about, you know, time travels are, are, are better and great and spectacular. This is what the doctor says to her, and then as the free, he, he says, uh, He tries his lasers, he, he tries his sonic screwdriver on. The door, that don't work because it's an it's a rope language, not language as they call it. It's barmy. And and that's uh he learns to speak the language of there, which you do, he opens the door, they go through, he you know, he get, gets on and the baby's on the season in it and this is what Ruby say. Oh all the season in it <laughs> And as it going along they're singing the goblin song which I don't like it myself, but people do, and people did like it. So they're singing the Goblin song, eventually in the gut where then Ruby Sunday end up down there, stood up, he gives her the baby, he's singing and twerking and things like that. That's where the workness, this is where the workness is coming into it. So now the Doctor's going to dance and twirl and twerk and <laughs> to defeat enemies, and this is what he does and he you know and he's singing to her and giving her a glove and that picking up the baby and then he says if we got this right the glove is heavy and the jump and he comes back down onto her roof and and then he's running round inside hoping that everything's gone but it hasn't so what do the goblins do start creating coincidences and, and that's what they do uh, Ruby's mother forgets who she is and that the doctor has to go travel back in time to the church on Ruby Road where the goblins try to take Ruby well they do take Ruby but he's got his gloves on makes a merry and starts pulling and so many run and then the ladder snaps and then he grabs old makes the gloves heavy and then pulls it down onto the spire the goblin ship disappears that's the end of them he catches the baby puts it in the snow runs Sees, sees who's put the baby on there, but he doesn't know who it is. Is that that Ruby's mother? We don't know. And then he goes back, and then everything's sold. And Ruby says, "Where you been?" He says, "Travel." Yeah, he tells her. And then uh, I think I think I think it's grandmother in bed in it. <laughs> who says, "Yeah, a cup of tea." It takes a long time to get a cup of tea around here and things like that. Um, the outstanding yeah, outstanding moments for me is where he's dancing and things like that. Um, the other outstanding moment, the, the surprise of it all is, is, is when he says, I'm going to go, I'm just passing through. Then he goes and then Ruby comes out, talks to Mrs Flood and she says, it's behind you. And then the TARDIS is there, the door opens. She goes in, obviously comes out and looks around because she can't believe how big it is and and she she says, does Mrs. Flood go in? 
it's going to need some work, it's going to need luck, so go in. So she goes in, that's her destiny to travel with the doctor. And then it ends there, and then it comes back to Anita Dobson, who's playing Mrs. Flood, and says, you know, Merry Christmas, I'm Ed, and all that, and turns to the camera and says, you never seen a TARDIS before? So who is she? Now, it's been, so, and that's really the end of it. Yes, the Doctor does defeat the Goblins and things like that, like we would. But what they're trying to say here on this special, and if I, I have got this right, they're just trying to say the Doctor is genderless. I don't agree with that. Uh, neither does many people. I think it's been work, really work. D Disney have done practically been work with Star Trek and things like that. So I'm hoping, yeah, really, the new series what starts on the on May 11th is not uh, like this work, you know what I mean? But that is full of workness. A lot of people say, oh, it's entertaining. Yes, on the face of it, you can watch it all the way through. On the face of it, yes, it's entertaining. When you pull it to bits, you can see the workness. You can see, you know, you know, you know how, how it's all planning out and things like that. Um, you can tell that the Doctor is gay. You know what I mean? Work and things like that. You know, it all started, didn't it? Right at before this, you know, if you look back on my videos, you see what I said about the three specials. Every one of them was work. This is work as well. Um, just as they, they are trying to say, well, the Doctor's gender or something, and the, and the bi regenerations never happened before. Yeah, it's all made up and that. Um, a lot of people criticise him because of the. Uh, yeah, criticised the new Sonic Screwdriver. I thought that was good. I like the new Sonic Screwdriver. I, I, I really do. Yeah, yeah, it's a hodge shape. I know that, but I think it. I think it's pretty good actually. Um, I, I, I do like it. it. It shows creativity and things like that. Not you know, not you know, for this dot, you know, fifteenth Doctor to wow, that um, creativity is there and everything, and and the costumes there. Yeah, he's got the right costume and that. Mm. So, yes, on the co yeah, and he's got the right attitude in this Doctor Who, really. I mean, he didn't want to kill him, but he did. If you think about it, he did destroy the goblins and things like that. And there you go. And, and don't forget, he's going he's going to meet enemies as well, um, and things like that. He, he's going to meet the boss. Who, who, who sent the toy maker, the star beast, and, and, and everything else, and the wild blue yonder, and all that. Yeah, you're going to see who, who, you know, eventually it's going to crescendo in it into a decent episode where the doctor's got to fight for his wife. That's my opinion. But on the face of it, yes, it's a good entertainment, and it's part of my collection, and it, and it will be part of my collection. Will the. Uh, Will will the fifteenth Doctor series as it as it starts on the uh, May eleventh? Will that be part? We don't know. We'll soon find out. I did enjoy this, by the way, even though I am pointing out. But people want me to point out these things, so that's what I've done. I have pointed it out. Yes, it is. It is a little bit work, and that they try to say that the Doctor's genderless. He's not genderless. He can be a man. Or he can be a woman. He can be anything, can't he? Can the doctor? He could even be a Dalek. They could, yeah, regenerate him into a Dalek if they want. But then again, Daleks have male voices and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, but yeah, the doctor's not genderless, in my opinion. Well, there you go. That's my review of Rubyville. Yes, it will be staying in the collection. Um, I did enjoy it. It, it's. Uh, it's different. It's very much so different. A different enemy as well. But I did like it. So thank you if you're still here with me. And that. And that's will be Sunday. And that. And if you don't know. They've already filmed the first two seasons of Doctor Who. I know that. So there you go. So hopefully you've liked that. If you're still here and you have liked it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please. Please like the video. Please consider to subscribe it's free to subscribe to my channel it really is free uh, you don't get 
anything for free nowadays but subscribe to me it is free and things like that so it's free to subscribe so please subscribe hit the bell icon it all that will let you know when i'm uploading another video also what's more what is important is that you share the video to your friends and your family into other social media like like x instagram facebook twitch and also also use the comment section below i do try and answer all comments if i don't answer my girlfriend jen will answer so i'll catch you on the next video bye for now catch you all later